adjust some camera Science levels. Flight confirmed near infrared, November, correct? On Confirm. The near infrared uh, camera. Bot send NIR1 to OPR9. Copy, sending command. All stations flight, mark Centaur impact. That was an announcement by the flight director that the uh, center impact should have. Uh, flight should have confirm receipt of uh, command, over. Flight payload, curtain start, over. Copy that, payload. We should be looking for uh, some signs of the impact on the leftmost part Man of the. Standing uh, by with mid infrared changes. The left side of the shadow, right below the uh, the dimpled crater on the crater, the larger crater rim. Slide. This is science. Make the rate changes. MIR one, one hertz. MIR two, zero point one hertz. Over. Copy science command flight MIR one to one hertz. Sending MIR one at one hertz. And the science team is directing the flight team to adjust the uh, sampling rate of some of the instruments to fit within the one megahertz. Uh, Ready with MIR two at point two at point one. The one megahertz signal limit. Go flight command flight send MIR two zero point one hertz. MIR2, 0 0.1 hertz, sending command. Flight confirm receipt of command, over. Copy that, payload. All stations flight one minute to transition to DV mode. Transition to DV mode, which is Delta V mode, actually is a uh, control mode for the spacecraft. It allows us to slew much more quickly uh, to continue pointing at the uh, suspected uh, Centaur impact point, even though the, uh, the shepherding spacecraft will be impacting a couple of kilometers away. This is the last minute uh, before the shepherding spacecraft also impacts the surface of the moon and the last minute of flight. We're watching the remaining few seconds of uh, the LCROSS mission as we uh, approach very rapidly the surface of uh, the Cabeus crater. Mark, transition Flight. to DV mode. Flight, Flight payload confirmed crater NIR2, OPR change request. NIR2 to OPR 10. Over. Is that November? Copy. NIR2 to OPR yes, 10. Yes, confirmed. November. Ready? Command flight send November IR2 to OPR 10. Command sent. Flight payload confirm receipt of command. Copy payload. These are Standby the for shepherding spacecraft impact. The very last seconds of the uh, shepherding spacecraft trajectory as it approaches the lunar surface. We are seeing very small craters within the we, crater. We confirm a thermal signature of the crater in our mid our cameras. Over. Copy science. We just All received flight shepherding s spacecraft impact stations report LOS. The uh, ground stations at Goldstone just reported Last a Last track at 11:35:35.054 seconds. The shepherding spacecraft has hit the surface of the moon, and this marks the end of the LCROSS uh, flight mission.
Okay, all stations flight. Great job. First step 179, uh, complete closeout of your flight products and get them on MDPS. Well, Michael, I wonder if you could give us your impressions of, uh, of what we just saw and, and uh, mission success. Well, it's hard to tell what we saw there. Uh, I'm, not <laughs> sure. I'm not sure if the gain was uh, set there uh, correctly or what. Um, we had some uh, confirmation uh, from the mock that uh, they did uh, have a thermal signature. Yeah. Um, I should mention that uh, the nine instruments on the trailing spacecraft, the L-Cross spacecraft, were exercised on the way to the, to the moon. In fact, we took images on the way and images of the Earth, so we're confident the, uh, the instruments performed as expected. Uh, at the time of the impacts, the uh, mothership, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or sister ship, I should say, was uh, about 50 kilometers overhead, they will have their first, and so they should have been uh, seeing this with their suite of instruments. Uh, they do their first data downlink in about uh, two hours or so, so we hope to have the data, and I expect we will be receiving both uh, imaging data and spectroscopic data from the host of ground-based observatories probably within the next few hours. I think it is fair to say that uh, within this uh, $79 million cost cap, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the experiment had been optimized to produce the largest possible impact plume, and so I remain confident that uh, this is our best opportunity to date to measure the extent of water ice on the moon. So what we're seeing here is a replay of that impact. Let's watch it for a little bit. Yeah, even though there were nine instruments on the trailing L-Cross spacecraft, which you see going in here, uh, they basically break into three categories. There was something called a flash radiometer, which uh, should have uh, seen the uh, flash, and uh, by virtue of analyzing that signal, we can make some inferences about the depth of the regolith and it's uh, the makeup of the dirt, as it were, that were th was thrown up by the Centaur impact. Right, so brighter flash means, you know, hit rock, or, and dimmer means it uh, hit dirt, essentially. Right, and actually you would want a uh, dim flash here because that uh, is suggestive that you hit sandy material and you want to throw up as much of that as possible, and that's easier to throw up than uh, boulders. Then there's a suite of cameras, visible, near-infrared, mid-infrared, that provide information uh, once we analyze the signal, uh, once we analyze the data on the shape of the ejecta cloud, which contains both regolith and uh, hopefully water vapor. Uh, it tells us about the dust grain properties in the ejecta cloud and provides spatial context for the uh, spectrometers. And then finally, there is the suite of uh, spectrometers. Uh, and most of the information, much of the valuable information, will come out of the near-infrared spectrometer, which uh, provides uh, uh, analysis of the chemical composition of the vapor in the regolith and uh, any possible hydrated minerals. Yeah, Michael, we're, we've just brought up the uh, thermal IR. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I wonder if you uh, could comment a little bit on Well, the, uh, the blue areas are the cooler regions, and so the green and the red are increasingly warm regions, and so you can imagine the sun being uh, beating down on the south rim of that crater. That's why it's showing up as red. This is all false color, of course. Uh, and, of course, we're aiming for the blue region, uh, which is the uh, permanently shadowed region here. The reason you have this many instruments is uh, we're trying to tease out, uh, particularly with spectrometers, the way I like to phrase it to people is we break light into its uh, color constituents, and then we look for li little squiggles superimposed on big squiggles. Yes. And uh, the little squiggles are hopefully the signatures of water, and uh, other hydrated minerals. The big squiggles are just the electronic noise in the cameras. And so even though the data will become available to us in the next few hours from uh, the other uh, 